Welcome to this video where I'm going to be doing a tour of Heroic Giant Hole, showing you the locations of all the rares and explorers and quest entrances. Now I thought I'd start here in the marketplace right in front of the bank, just in case you're uber new to DDO and you don't even know how to get to Giant Hole. Now if you have a, a guild ship, your captain might be able to take you there. But if not, you just go right down here to Thaden the Far Shifter and he'll take you there. Now talk to Sidony first and she's going to tell you a little story about what's going on in Giant Hold. And it's good to mention too, watch for Silver Dragons. Um, it's good to mention that um, the Giant Hold quests are Argoness in favor. And your Argoness in patron is right here. And you get some really great rewards from your Argoness in um, Tier 1 and Tier 2 uh, favor turn-ins. Um, and the really really nice one is the second tier you get Draconic Vitality which is 10 stacking hit points and Giant Hold is a main source of Argoness in favor and other sources uh, Reaver's Refuge quest so really good to knock out your Giant Hold quest and get your Argoness in favor now one thing before I jump out into the Slayer Zone, I want to point out this guy here, Narkonk, the Rune Tusk Far Shifter. Uh, he can take you out into three different locations in the Slayer Zone, if you've opened up those teleport locations to get you a little bit closer to quests so you don't have to make the run. And I'll try to remember to point out the pickup spots when I'm out there. So the Giant Hold Slayer Zone is level 10 to 18, I believe. Let's just see if my memory is correct. Yep, 10 to 18. And this is, you know, it could be a really confusing uh, area for new players. It certainly was for me. Uh, the first explorer is this statue right here, Beast and the Brothers. But I'm gonna double back the other way here. And I think one of the things that made it confusing for me, and I think it, I've heard other people say, you know, why they thought it was confusing, is because in this first zone, this first section that we're going to. There's like upper walkways and lower areas, and it's just you, the map's not really good to be able to tell like where you are in relation to other people. So if you're coming and trying to find people and you don't know where you're, your way around, the you know those upper walkways can just make things a little bit confusing. But it's really not too bad uh, once you get to know it. So let's see. I'll come over here first. Whenever I do these on my own, I always seem to miss one or two, so I'm going to try really hard not to miss anything for this video. A little encampment of, of guys that you can beat up, and and then your first exp or the next explorer is Bleeding Rock Falls, which we just got. And the pickup, I thought the pickup was a little bit further down here, but I seem to have gotten it up here this time, so somewhere around there is fine. And then the next explorer is going to be the entrance to Feast or Famine. Right here. And you got a shrine there if you need it. Now this is going to be different than the epic version of Giant Hole. This is completely different rares and explorers out in the epic instance. And the next explorer is going to be here, the quest entrance to Cabal for One. And another shrine. Lots of shrines in Giant Hold. More than there used to be years ago, so if you... For whatever reason, you haven't been out in Giant Hold in a long time. When they made it epic a couple years ago, they added more shrines. So, if you follow my videos, you may have seen my recent Epic Elite Crucible video where I talked about this little jump that you can do right here. 
can jump on that little stalagmite thingy. And then if you have wings or something, you can use it to jump over here. And this is where you would end up if you came out of the back side of Feast or Famine and you did the, the hunting party optional. You'd come out right here. And it is, you know, I think it's, you know, it's intended to be the only way you can be up here. But, um, you know, when you, you have wings and stuff, you can just do what I showed you. But you can kill these guys if you want to. There's not an explorer here in the heroic zone. But there is a chest uh, right there if you want it. There is an explorer here in the, um, in the epic instance. But I'm going to try not to talk about the epic instance too much. See if we get anything good now with a new random loot system. We're getting some really awesome items. The first rare that I'm going to cover is going to be right here, and this is, oh, I think his name is Yaga Crackbow. And he was up. Yep, Yaga Crackbow. And this is also an explorer here. This is Knoll's Breath Ridge. There's also uh, an adventure pack here. Grab your chest. And you can see I got a Sven Tusk's gem. This is one of the Slayer Zones that can drop a gem that you need to get into, um, well, to flag for Steal Our Souls in Reaver's Refuge. And now we're going up to the Crucible. So this quest entrance is another explorer. And just to help you get your bearings, Feast or Famine is, is right down there, right around the corner. There was Bleeding Rock Falls, the first explorer that we got. And Cabal for One is, is over that way around the corner. You can also tell from this bridge if, I think it's Captain Two Stone is his name, if he's up, and he'd be right there. You'd be able to see him from here. And you can, you know, jump down and go around, or if you're up here, a little shortcut is to just jump from right here. Oh, and I missed it. If you jump, instead of just falling, you can jump right over. Um, that's okay. We could just go around. So this little area right here is where Captain Two Stone would be. And there's a couple of uh, adventure packs here. I want to pick those up because maybe you'll get some good rare collectibles that you can use for for crafting or Eldritch rituals or something. And your pickup point for your teleport spot in, to get into this zone, which is the Storm's Fist zone, is right over here somewhere. 
It should say on your screen when you pick it up. There you go. Storm's Fist, Farship Location Discovered. There's Storm's Fist, Storm's Heart, and Storm Eye. Now, if you get those confused like I used to, somebody once told me a little memory mechanism that I've never forgotten and it helps me remember where to go. Like if you're using the explorer or the yeah, the far shifter and not giant hole to come out here and you're like, oh which you know, which is which? Remember that that the storm's eye is near prison of planes. Remember you want to keep an eye on the prisoners. Here's another explorer here. This is, I think, Father Victorious. Yep. And Storm's heart is down in the middle. Your heart is in the middle. And then Storm's fist is near Crucible. Crucible, you gotta be very strong to get through the Crucible, right? Chief Ugg can be uh, right here. That's a hill giant uh, rare. He wasn't up. Possible rare in here, and here he is, Ufker Rune Tusk. Up here is a possible rear and an explorer, and Lord Cirrus is up. Cool. Storm's Heart Summit Explorer. And we're done here. And to jump down, you can just go through a little gap here and here. Go all the way down because we're done with that upper zone. But I'll show you a little shortcut. Probably not working as intended. But in case you know you ever want to get up there, you know you're coming out of one of the quests out here and you don't want to go all the way around. There is a spot over here that you can jump right up. Let's see if I can remember it edit out a little bit of the video as I was trying to remember which one of these ridges is the one that you can jump up and it's right here just keep mashing the jump button and uh, you can eventually get up there just like that so a little bit of a shortcut you know like I said if you're coming out of one of these southern uh, you know, quest and you want to check the rare up there without going all the way around, you can just do that. And this is the entrance to Ma uh, uh, yeah, Madstone Crater. Lots of the explorers are quest entrances out here. This island out here, uh, and that statue is an explorer 
too, but we're going to get it on our way looping back through. This is the quest entrance to um, Trial by Fire. And there's a possible rare right back here. He's not up. The caster minotaur guy. Something stone hoof, I think. Can't remember. And this is the quest entrance to a Maze of Madness. this explorer, this island here. Find the doomed brother. Now I'm going to come back up here because otherwise I'd have to go way around if I didn't jump over here this way. If I can actually make the jump this time. There we go. And now we're going to go to the Brother Who Holds the Horn Explorer, which is this right here. Thirteen out of twenty explorers. I feel like I'm doing pretty good so far. Except I didn't show you where the pickup point for the Storm's Heart area was. It's right down here somewhere. Yep. Storm Heart Farship location discovered. That is not an explorer that just opens up the teleporter. There are some mobs to the right over there, but there aren't any explorers or rares, so we're just going to keep going. And here we have the Fields of Immolation. Pickup point is somewhere along here. There we go. Lots of Geraliths over here. They sneak up on you. They, they stealth. I never have tunes with good spots, so I usually don't see them until they're right up on me. And we're going to go this way. Uh, this little area, as far as I know, is only accessible across that bridge by the Fields of Immolation. And it's a winding corridor. And at the end of it, can be Lord Jax. Not to be confused with Jax from Mortal Kombat, that's a different Jax. Hey, there's Lord Jax.
it's an explorer and possible rare right over here. The, I think it's the Gate to Zoriat, and then Pride Leader Zillic is their rare. So there's uh, the Gate of Shavrath. Bunch of Geraliths, and no Pride Leader. Now I ch was checking my memory on the wiki before I did this video, and it said something about that a chest can pop right here by these two giants just north of Pride Leader Zillic. Now I've never seen that, but whenever I do explorers out here, I just run past this. I don't come up here, so I'm sure I could have just missed it. So I'm just mentioning... I'll show you a little jump too if you're ever coming from the other way. Some people struggle with this jump. You're having to make the run out to the quests that are out here. You can take a little shortcut by jumping onto the uh, the dragon's wings, and um, it's from here that people struggle with. But you know, anywhere over here is is safe to jump onto. And there's the Storm Eye Far Shift location. Boom! That's all three uh, teleport spots. There's the Prison of Plains, which we're going to go to in a minute. First, we're going to go up to Crystal Spin Peak. That Mind Flare and those two dudes are always there, uh, and he leaves you this chest, but it is locked. And uh, it's pretty high knock skill, so you need, or, or um, yeah, you need a pretty high roll on a knock spell or, uh, you know, a lock picker. So from here, you know, you could go that way if you wanted to go over to, like, uh, Cry for Help, but, um, oops overshot but we're gonna go over by foundation first foundation of discord and explore a point for the entrance to the Prison of Plains and some more shrines. Those shrines were added when Giant Hold went epic. It didn't used to be there years ago. Here we got some Easter Island looking statues. Quest Entrance and Explorer Foundation of Discord. Every time I come along here, this this ridge always looks like something to me, like a like an owlbear looking to the right or something. I, 
I'm sure it's just my brain seeing, trying to make sense of it. This is the Orem Supply Depot, and here you can always get a chest if you start breaking up all the crap here. You'll get some dudes to spawn right here. It's not a rare, but they will give you a chest. And that's always up. And if you come along this ridge, there's another quirky chest that's just sometimes there. Doesn't look like... oh, no, it's not going to be there. But uh, you, it would be... It would be right here. It would appear after you kill those guys. I think you got to kill them. In the event, just jump down here and sometimes there's a chest. And then, come down here for our final explorer. I remembered them all. Yay! which is Cry for Help, which opens up your map. Boom! There's our Giant Hole map. So this is like the town of Giant Hole. That's where we first stepped in, we jumped down here, and we got the we got the, uh, the first explorer, and then we came along here, and we went over by Cabal, and then we went over here to Bleeding Rock Falls, and then over here to to Orc Lair, which is Feast or Famine, and then up and around. There was Mr. Crackbow, Crucible, there was Possible Lord Two Stone. We came down here, the teleport location's there. We came across this bridge, and we went through this winding corridor and, and got this um, explore here, and that's where I think it was Lord Cirrus. And here's where I sh showed you that jump up spot. Madstone, uh, Trial by Fire, possible Stonehoof rare guy here, Maze of Madness, we came through here, Brother Who Holds the Horn, we came up here across this bridge, Fields of Immolation, came over here, Lord Jax, we went back, and Pride Leader Zillick, who was not up, and the gate to Shabroth. Came back here. I showed you that dragon wing jump. Came across this bridge. This was the pickup location for Storm's Eye. The pickup location for the Storm's Heart was like right here. Or yeah, here somewhere. Um, we came along here. We went out to Prison of Plains. Came down. Went over Foundation of Discord. Or supply depot over here. We came over here. Uh, the ledge that can have the the chest, so, and then uh, cry for help. And now we're gonna go through here, and then there's like another walkway up this ridge. And there's a couple rares that can be right here, and those are, that's the last thing to check. I'm also going to show you a little jump in case you're, you know, you have your own pattern. You maybe you come from a different way. In case you didn't know, just a little shortcut that you can jump up right here instead of going around. Just a little quick shortcut.
four or ten rares that were up. But maybe these guys will be up. Now there's two here, and it seems like they always pop together, but I, you know, I can't be sure if they do. Maybe some of times it's just one of them. In any event, if they were up, they'd be at the end of this walkway. Right here, and they're not up. But if they were both there, you would just get one chest. Again, I can't remember if they always both spawn together or not. So that's that. I think I'm still running a 20% pot. Yep. Let's see how much XP we got. For all of our explorers and the four rares and the slayers along the way, 34,000. So, you know, you can knock that out in half an hour. and That's not too bad for half an hour. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. Uh, and if you happen to be on Sarlona, you are welcome to send me a tell.